Mortgage rates are dipping. Mortgage applications are rising. The market is definitely shifting. But what does it mean for you? Let's break it down. I'm Jen Blanchard with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Fox and Roach Realtors. We're in central New Jersey, and I am your trusted real estate advisor locally, and I have a pretty big network. So if your real estate needs takes you somewhere other than New Jersey, don't hesitate to start here first because I'm more than happy to connect you with another awesome real estate professional. So in this update, I'm gonna break down the latest in mortgage rates, housing trends, and what they mean for you, whether you're buying, selling, or just keeping an eye on the market. Let's dive right in. First, we're gonna talk about mortgage rates. Here's your update. Last Thursday, November 14th, Freddie Mac released its latest data. Here's what we know. The 30-year fixed rate mortgage averaged 6.78%, just a hair lower than last week's, which was 6.79%. The real difference comes when you compare it to a year ago. Rates were 7.44%. So you can see we've made some progress. The 15-year fixed rate mortgage is now averaging 5.99, a slight dip from last week's 6%, and a year ago, it was at 6.76%. So Jen's opinion inserted here. Even if the rate for a 30 year mortgage is a little bit higher, your payment will be lower, which will give you better opportunity to save some money and make some extra payments and maybe pay that mortgage off sooner. Stick with a 30 year, even though the rate seems higher. So while these slight drops are welcome, Affordability remains a challenge for many buyers. As mortgage payments are still elevated compared to rent on similar properties. So if your mortgage payment is going to be higher than a rental payment. That's okay. Let's talk about it. But let's talk about what's happening with mortgage applications. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association, applications increased by a half a percent last week. That's the first rise in seven weeks. And interestingly enough, FHA and VA purchase applications were strong drivers, up 3% and 9% respectively. These programs are helping buyers lock into slightly more favorable terms. On the flip side, refinance activity has dropped to its lowest level since May. That reflects how higher interest rates are impacting that segment of the market. Independent mortgage banks reported a pre-tax profit of $701 per loan in the third quarter of 2024. This is their second consecutive quarter of profitability after two years of significant losses. So what? Here's why. It's a promising sign for stability in the mortgage industry overall. That's good for us. Here's why. Buyers, this slight drops in rate and increased application activity suggests that this could be a good time to reevaluate your buying plans. Programs like FHA and VA loans are especially attractive right now. And as competition wanes a little bit, those are not bad loans to have. Sellers know that the market is steady. Affordability is still front and center for buyers. Pricing your home correctly and making it stand out is more critical than ever. Investors, there's been a rise in commercial real estate activity, which shows that there's opportunities out there as well. But you need to be mindful of how higher rates might influence borrowing costs in the coming months. It may not be the best market for an investor. So that's my current market update. I hope that you found this to be useful or helpful. If you have further questions about mortgages, about your position in the market with regard to whether or not you could purchase yet. I always tell people I sell houses, not loans, but I do have some relationships with some pretty solid real estate mortgage lenders who will be more than happy to talk to you, whether you're going to be ready today, tomorrow, or a year from now. So let's figure out your next steps. Let me help you navigate these trends and please don't ever, feel like you can't give me a call. If you're not ready, 
doesn't matter. I know I have information that can help you get ready and wouldn't be wasting my time. So thanks for watching this video. If you found the information helpful and you would like to hear more from me, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell. You'll be notified every time I post a new video. And if you could share this video with a friend, that would be even better. Thanks for watching.